so let f be differentiable, function of two variables, x and y be functions of t, with g and h differentiable. <coughs> Write down the appropriate chain rule for dz dt. So this is just a, a matter of writing, writing the chain rule down. So I've got f's a function of two variables. And those two variables are functions of one variable. So it's very easy. Let's just draw our diagram, make sure we've, we're you know, covering all the bases. F depends on two things, so you draw a little sort of split. X depends on one thing, T. Y depends on one thing, T. So you've got these links. So you find all the paths from the top to a T. We want to find DZ, DT here. So I've got two paths. I can go down the left-hand branch or the right-hand branch. When I go from letter to letter, I form a derivative. So easy. So we're asked to write down the chain rule. There's a chain rule. Nothing hard. Part B. Show that if F is of this form, it satisfies the following PDE. So what we want to do here is calculate the partials in the PDE, Z sub U and Z sub V, and show that they satisfy this equation. All right, so you just you know, show the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So how do we do that? Well, it's just the chain rule again. Uh, X equals, what is it? U minus V. And Y equals... V minus U. So let's write down the chain rule for that one. So F depends on two things. X depends on two things as well. U and V. So does Y. So let's calculate the partial derivatives in our equation. Z sub U and Z sub V. And then we'll show that the equation balances. So let's form, uh, I guess you can write z equals f here. So z sub u, what's that going to be? It's going to be df dx times x sub u plus df dy times y sub u. Now we can go up to these equations up here and calculate x sub u and x, uh, y sub u. So this is x sub u is going to be 1, y sub u is going to be minus 1. Now I don't know what, what, what f is, so I can't calculate the partial derivatives f sub x and f sub y. I just don't know what f is, so I've got to leave them for the moment. What about z sub v, dz dv? Well, just go through and find all the paths to a v. Okay, so again, x sub v is going to be minus 1. y sub v is going to be plus 1. So what I want to do is then go back to my question and add the two things on the left-hand side together. Okay? So 
So we're going to get all of these, and they're going to cancel. How nice is that? And we conclude that our PDE holds. Any questions? It's, again, a pretty standard problem involving the chain rule. All right. Part C, three part C. If F has continuous partial derivatives, then F's differentiable. True or false? Who thinks it's, it's true? Who thinks it's false? <laughs> Who's not sure? Okay. It's true. If F has continuous partial derivatives, then it's differentiable. This is a very important result. So if you've got something like this in the exam, just write down true. No, no, no reasons are required. Okay, it's just a true or false. 